precision. What is precision? What does it look like? Is it almost? Is it kinda? Is it good enough? No. To be exact, that's precision. To be uniquely different in your craft, that's precision. Precision is that extra something that separates you from everybody else. What separates the exceptional from the ordinary. That's precision. Precision is my main focus and the only way that I operate. And I won't accept anything less. I've always wanted to become my own boss. When I was younger, I had a vision of becoming a successful entrepreneur and having my own business. I had no interest in working a nine to five. You know, I didn't want to answer to anybody. I was more the type to set my mind to a passion that my heart wanted and achieve it. When I picked up Clippers for the first time at the age of 15, my journey began. Growing up, I was always a very creative and a very artistic person. You know, I always used to love to draw, stuff like that. I was always very hands-on. And uh, I remember it was like back in 2010, I was with a buddy of mine, uh, my boy Kyle Murray, and I happened to notice his haircut. And it was literally flawless. So I was like, yo, who cuts your hair? Like, who's your barber? He's like, next time I get a haircut, I'll take you with me. So he ends up taking me to his barber, this, this guy by the name of Mike Volman. And he, Mike cuts my hair for the very first time, and I look in the mirror and I'm saying to myself, if only I knew how to cut hair, I bet you I could do this on my own head. And the feeling I had when I saw the cut was also as if God was literally placing that passion into my heart at that very moment. And that's how I knew it was God's calling for me to become a barber right then and there. He was kind of a challenge in school because if he wasn't interested in something, he flat out just wasn't interested. And when he found something he was interested in, or made a commitment to something, he had a habit of just achieving it. So he was 15 years old, I believe he was, he wanted to become a barber, and he studied, he got the tapes, he just immersed himself into this craft. I knew I really needed some experience and some coaching, so what I did was I went on YouTube trying to get educated by different barbers. So I ended up coming across this guy, Jay the Barber, and I was instantly inspired by his work. What I did was I went on his uh, website, www.howtobecomeabarber.com, and I seen that he had an instructional step-by-step -step DVD teaching you how to cut hair. So I was like, perfect. So I ended up buying the DVD, and I literally studied it day in and day out. I was very determined. After all that, it finally paid off, and here I am at 16 years old, running my own barbershop out of my parents' basement. I was actually out riding one day with one of my friends who were out in the dirt bikes and quads messing around and my buddy took his helmet off and I said, oh my God, your hair looks immaculate. I'm like, who did it? He goes, oh, I got this kid, Vinny. So I ended up scheduling an appointment with this infamous Vinny and I walked into the house. It was a beautiful house. He had a beautiful family. We had a lot of kids coming right to the house. I'm talking like five, six a day coming to the house, 15, 16 year olders. Then it got to the point where they were walking right in the front door. So something had to change. So eventually, after a couple years, 
he went to work at, at a barber shop and really excelled. It was June, I believe, of 2013. I began working for my first employer, this guy by the name of Loren McDaniel. This guy was a fantastic mentor to me. Even when Vinny got into the barber shop, his book grew so fast. People could not get enough of him. They loved him, they loved his personality, they loved who he was. When he's cut my hair, it's a whole different caliber or precision. It's more artwork than just me going to get a haircut. That's what I'm all about because of my passion for art. You know, I want to make sure every haircut looks like a masterpiece. It's not just a haircut to me, it's a work of art. And every one of my clients respects that. He knows my hair. He knows every little flaw and how to perfect it. And that's what makes Vinny different compared to every other barber I've ever met. Today in the business, um, I'm, I'm working for uh, Mr. KB over at Barber Extraordinaire. Um, I, I began working for him back in May of 2016. He's an award-winning, visionary, versatile master barber. You know, he's like an artist. He literally like does paintings on people's head. And just seeing him as a barber and as a businessman, it, it really brings me a lot of confidence. I see how booked up he stays. I see his clientele and it's such a, it really motivates me. I've been cutting hair for seven years and it, I am so humbly blessed to say that over those years, my clientele has really developed to the point where I am staying consistently booked every week. And it is a true, true blessing to me. My goals in the next few years are to eventually have my own business. And what I technically want to do is I want to be the owner of a high-end full-service salon and an upscale barber shop and a spa as well. You know, that's my, that is my goal. And uh, I'm very confident that this is going to happen because I've visioned it since I was 15. And, you know, I went to cosmetology school, got my license, and this has just been a dream of mine. For the barbershop, I kind of was always into, you know, the, the more traditional, classy type of barbershop, you know. You come in, you have a nice cigar, a glass of scotch, you get a nice shoe shine, a nice shave, you know, kind of just very traditional. And uh, for, the, for the salon, uh, I kind of want it to be a very high-end luxury-looking salon, you know. You come in, nice hardwood floors, nice chandeliers, granite, you know, very professionally operated. Great customer service, excellent customer satisfaction, and everything else you can imagine that a successful business would be. We know just on his past experiences and what he's done in the past, he'll absolutely crush it in that business as well. So we're proud of the progress he's made growing up as a young man. I take this craft so seriously. This isn't, I'm not just a barber. I'm not doing this to just make money. This is not something I'm doing to just pay my bills. This is my passion. I treat every haircut, literally, I put my heart into every haircut. Like, this is something that, this was God's gift to me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Vinny's a man of character, respect, honor, he's precise. And the beautiful thing about Vinny is, when he cuts your hair, it's not, he's doing a haircut. It's, he's literally putting a piece of art on your head every single time the precise caliber it's literally like a painting like he just paints it on you and you've never experienced a haircut until you've gone the van if you have a gift if you feel passionate about something deep in your heart you go for it if your dreams are so big that you become feared you go for it Come across negativity of others doubting you, telling you you can't, you go for it. If negativity and fear overpowers your soul, it makes you weak. Weakness is for failures. Don't be weak. Be strong, confident, know what you want, and get it. Nothing or no one is going to stop you from getting to your destination in life except you. We're all born with a purpose. We're all born with a passion, a gift, 
and a desire deep in our hearts. It's your job to discover that passion. I've already discovered mine. Now it's your turn.